Hey guys, Pathogaming Gaming right here right now, bringing you another coaching session today with Ravlox, who's currently in gold, but doesn't want to be in gold or platinum anymore. Welcome. So, let's dive right into it. Uh, you said you want to get to like, plat uh, get out of platinum, so like diamond maybe this season? Yeah, I'll, at least this like first part of the set, I do want to get at least a diamond for. So I'll, I'll try not to be too strict, but like, if there's some glaring mistakes. Oh yeah, lay it on me. The, yeah. I mean, the more the better. I'm, I'm open to criticism. Okay, so why did you start Rod? What is your thought process behind that? There is absolutely no excuse or any thought process behind that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to need more than that. So, like, oh, okay. I'm not I, saying Rod is bad. I'm just saying you, like, you need to figure out what is the best item for you and why. Uh, I would say that a lot of the times if I do like playing something, it's anything with Jeweled Gauntlet. So, I'll get at least that component instead of, like, I probably could have, like, at least got the glow. Because I can do a little bit more with that. But I think that's why I've been taking Rod or Glove on the start. So that, just... I mean, that's as long as you have a reason, it's completely fine. Like that, That's the first step, knowing what you want and why you want it. Okay. So can you name a, a few decent comps with Jeweled Gauntlet? Uh, I guess uh, Lux. Uh -huh. uh, anything with... Uh, well, Fiora is pretty good with uh, Jeweled Gauntlet. Um, with, so with challengers, um, Scion, you can do Scion Socialite with that. Okay. Um, I can't really think of any of the other ones. I've, I've been trying to do like, I had like all last week is mostly I was trying to do like Arcanist Lux. Um, uh -huh. but this week it's been just like, cause of the augments, I've just been, I don't know. I see an augment and I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess I'll run that. And I, I kind of try to leave myself flexible, but it tends to like hurt me more than it does. Okay, so the way you think you should you should think about augments is silver augment can be used for like a stage or two and then just ignored. Gold augments can be used longer but can still be ignored. And plat plat ones are like if you have to ignore them, it's really bad. But you can also just ignore them. So like okay. my, my, my worst games are the games where I'm offered I don't know, Imperial and then I never find like the, the Samira yeah. Swain uh Talon combo. And I'm just like rolling for these units. I'm like, why? Like so what? My Tyrant gets a bonus. Like I don't need to play I don't need to play Imperials. So it just that's kind of one thing that sometimes holds people back. Like they, they focus too much on the augment. And as for the comps you mentioned, uh, Fiora is kind of garbage because she's buggy. So she is not the best carry. Mm -hmm. And Scion isn't that strong right now either. So it's it's definitely just Lux. Okay, just Lux. Okay. Yeah, and, and that, that's why like I was asking you because AP comps right now are not that powerful. That might change when the patch, is, when the patch comes out. But... That's why I prefer to stay away from AP comps. But an, a good one that you didn't mention is uh, Yordleheimer. Oh, okay. So that's like another another comp you can you can play with with Jeweled Gauntlet or with Death Cap. Mm -hmm. So let's see this. Let's see this play out. So what would you say are your strengths then? You said like rolling pivoting is, is kind of not the best. Honestly, I don't even think I have a strength in TFT. <laughs> okay, um, don't, don't be honestly, so harsh on yourself. Oh, well, it's honestly, it's because I, I always try, I mean, it's the same issue I have with regular League of Legends. I try to do too much of everything and it's really like, there's nothing that I can say that um, is a hardcore strength, I guess. Okay, tiny, tiny thing. Um, you should check what the mutant is. Oh, okay. If it's mana reduction mutant, you're playing Malazar this game. Malazar. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. 
You, do you know the Mazahar comp? Uh, I don't know the comp, but I I I, I know the unit and like uh, some of the stuff that uh, people use it with. I know so I've seen some people do it like bruisers. Okay, um, you will. Okay, if the mutant is reduced mana, mm -hmm. you play mutants and Mazahar. Okay. Because he has sixty mana, and with three mutant, it's. 40 with 5 mutants, it's 20. So that's kind of something you should you should do every game is check out what the mutant is because... Okay, wait. First of all, you tell me what you think that the best mutants are. Like the units? Uh, sorry, like the mutations. Mutations? Uh, the execute? Um, I've had success with the twin shot. Like uh, the double attack one. Um, but I think it's uh, the execute and it's the mana one. Yep, those are those are really strong, and there's one more. Uh, okay, so there's a cybernetic one. Mhm. Mm I don't think uh, there's the one that's the outer one that scales. I think it's the outer one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really strong. Cause you get insane resistances and damage. Yeah. Good, good. So you, you know these things. Uh, that could have been gold, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Okay, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so talk me through your thought, thought process here. Oh, okay. Actually, I know why I didn't pick it up. Because I don't know if it's, if it's a bug or if it's an intended mechanic. If you get if you get units out of that, and let's say I didn't sell them in time, could they influence this, the uh, aug like the first uh, augment selections, like traits offered and stuff like that? Is it? Uh, okay. I think I've been stop. I've been not picking up the orb like that if it's that close to like the round starting. Um, I don't know exactly because nobody knows, but I I believe that Mord said like the first augment is maybe like five or ten percent like very slightly related to what you have but mostly random okay. then the second augment is a bit more tailored and the third augment should be very tailored to your comp that's okay. as far as i recall what mort has mentioned like he doesn't want to reveal everything right so yeah okay so on these augments then uh i had no intention of ever touching enforcer because yep. I don't know how to play that at all. Um, it was either between Celestial Blessing and Enchanter, and I personally have had more success playing the Enchanter thing because you can just splash it with a bunch of... I mean, anything with Sustain, I felt like has felt pretty good. And I think that's more valuable than the Celestial Blessing. At least the way I... I mean, because... I don't know. I guess that's the only way I could explain it. Okay. So I, I think I took Enchanter here. Um, I, that's just, uh, not to sound, but it's just wrong. That's just wrong, sorry. Like, uh, Celestial Blessing is by far the best because it doesn't force you to play any particular unit. Okay. So as flexibility goes, you take this and you can play anything you want and you just have 12% healing. Okay. Because if you take one of these, it's like, oh, well, I have Enchanter's Heart. I don't have a Lulu all of stage two. Well, it's, it's like a dead augment. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like the, the best way to think about augments and items is not like only what does it do for me, but what kind of doors does it close? Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this kind of closes some doors and forces you down a certain path. While this leaves every single door open. That's why they nerfed the blessing because it's just so universal. So stuff like like blessing, like phony frontline, like uh, extra gold or extra rerolls, those things are really good, especially on 1-4 because you just don't know what you're playing. Unless you have at least a Lulu or a um, Caitlyn on your bench. 
If you have Lulu or Caitlyn, then it's good. If you have neither, then it's just the generic one. And just just to, just to tell you something, Enforcer is really really strong. Oh really? Okay. I just haven't had any experience with it or playing it, so I I try to avoid it as if possible. I mean, you just splash in the Enforcer units. Mm -hmm. And typically, the the great thing about Enforcer is um, kind of like a get out of jail free card if if you're not that great on scouting and positioning. Because if you have four enforcer, their tank is not tanking properly, and their carry is not doing anything at all. True. So it's like if if you mess up positioning, it doesn't matter. Their carry their carry isn't gonna shit on you for the first I think four seconds of the fight. Mm -hmm. Which four seconds is a really long time in like the late later fights. So it's kind of like a, a hidden tech for it's 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 okay for the start like yeah it's fine for the start where you have like four extra seconds, but it's super super strong later, because if you lock their their units for four seconds, you can get a lot of a lot of things done during the fight. Yeah. So it just like yeah it, it's like you don't have to play a particular comp it just something you can you can have it in your comp because like typically you might have a brawler so Vi is fine. You might have a sniper, so Caitlyn is fine. Yeah, see, I was actually considering the blessing, and then I just like. <laughs> I... Because like, okay. now you want to play a third innovator, right? Yeah. But somehow you have the enchanter blessing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Okay, but you you gotta start picking up these orbs, cause yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Oh, I have no idea, no I no reason or no idea why I didn't pick it up when it came. <laughs> don't don't apologize. Just remember, like picking up orbs, cause it led to you maybe buy the Blitzcrank, maybe buy the coin, maybe buy Darius. Like see see what's what's in the orb. So you could have had like a Blitzcrank pair, for example. Oh yeah. And if you wanted, you could have bought uh, a Darius as well to go with, with the Blitzcrank pair. Mm -hmm. Scrap, yeah, that's good. Okay, you got... Okay, you got to... That's like the, the first... First thing you gotta be more mindful of yeah. is spending your time wisely. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. So I agree. Blitz is the best unit. So you put Blitz in. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you scout. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to scout? So what keys do you use to scout? I use one and three. Yeah. So you just scroll through the boards. And what would you be looking for scouting? Uh, preferably any carry that somebody just slammed items on so my blitz can pull. Okay. Yeah. That's definitely right. one thing. And, and the flip side of that is... Mm, I'm not sure. Oh... I'm not sure. Or I guess if I need to go to four, uh, if I want to start streaking, or if somebody's, if there's like a lot of people who just hit four, then. So, okay, so you want to, as you, as you mentioned, your blitz, you want to make sure that uh, you are dodging enemy blitzes and enemy assassins. Okay. Right? Like, you don't want your Ezreal getting, getting blitzed. If, if you can help it, I mean, you have three units, so, I mean, you, you want a tank, you, you have a blitz, and you have a zero. But you definitely want to avo avoid assassins. So if assassins are jumping, like, this side, you want to be on the other side. Yeah. That's something easy to influence. So, like, the important thing is getting in the habit of scouting. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, just, like, rolling through the boards. Then selling these units, I, I really don't understand that. Yeah, I, 
I don't understand that either. First, like the other thing that I guess has uh, been an issue for me is understanding if I'm gonna start this round uh, with four units. I mean, uh, going to four, and I, I know it's I know it's wrong by selling those units, but for some reason I think of. I feel like I'm never gonna use those units, if, even if I get pairs. And for some reason, I think that's the only reason why I had sold it in the first place. But why would you not like those are those units in particular are are, are one of the more broken units. Like Talon, by himself, usually kills a unit if not two. In any comp, like at the beginning, if you just put Talon in, he'll kill a unit or two. Mm. And Swain is like this beast-like tank early on. And so, like, what what is your level four, by the way? If I did stay level four, I mean, or like, not even if you like, you don't have to level to four right now. But what unit will you play once you reach level four? I actually, I mean, with what I have here, I don't know. Well, Talon is like the best unit you can add. Yeah, Talon. Tell tell, yeah, Talon. Like before I sold it, yeah, tell, I would have played maybe Talon. I've actually, I mean, I might have even just put Talon and Swain in without selling and at all. Well, it's definitely, I think, Talon over Ezreal. Okay. Yeah. And, like, the most important thing is you're not wasting any gold, right? Like, um, yeah. if you're going to be at less than 10 gold, you might as well have 9 gold of units on your bench. Because yeah. it's it's about the, the potential strength and like the the what the units can do for you. Yeah. So you, you can hit like it's unlikely twenty five percent chance of, of a two cost, but you can hit a Talon too, you can hit a Swain too. And those units will completely destroy your opponents on stage two. So it's like really important that you just keep these strong units. Or at least I, I hope you do. I, I, mean, I haven't watched the the full, full round. At least buy out the shop. Okay. So we know that you have eight gold. If you win, you have nine gold. So buy out the shop. Um, you're playing a you're playing the scrap trade, right? Yeah, I should have. I, I think I. Oh, I don't think I slammed the uh, put the items here. Yeah, I should have at least put them. So you can put belt on blitz, or you can put. Tear or Rod on Ezreal. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you didn't level because you got destroyed. And yeah, you have like, you have two I bruisers. Should... You have two bruises enforcer here. You have another scrap. Just please, just buy all the shop. It's mm -hmm. and there's another swain. Yeah. Yeah. So now you want to stay at ten. Okay, you can go for three star. Three star change. And this is like this is the the frustrating thing. Like. What the f are you doing now? Like, yeah, I should just scout it. yeah just like, just do something. Four, yeah, I just should just scout it and do what I should. Yeah, makes sense. Cause there's like thirty seconds to to do something. So those people, I mean, you you grab the Caitlyn, which is which is good, but if that guy had scouted, yeah, but he has assassins as well and a Ilawi, so that's really strong. But it's just like use like engaging more of the game or whatever, like just doing things in the game. Cause I know there's. There's not that much to do this early. Mm -hmm. I mean, it actually, I guess, it, I mean, it does make sense because it actually would have saved me HP as well. Yeah, if, that, that's if, why you do it, of course. Like, kills off one unit or just live long enough so that I can not be at, I could be at 90 instead of my, uh, 88. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just surprised nobody's made any items. Yeah, what? So, was there any reason for me to even put the blitz there, or does it really not matter? Like, could I have just bought that talent and stuck another talent in there? Or I mean, since I still didn't even put any items down on my scrap, should I? Have okay. So, without watching the fight, uh, what do you think can happen this fight? What do I think can happen? Yeah. I probably would just, uh, well, I would lose my lose streak if I go against somebody a lot weaker than me with, like, two squishies in the back, because maybe Blitz kills both. 
Well, the blades are all 12 to the same unit. Um, okay, so... I love that you know how you can lose your streak, but you don't know if anybody has a board like that, right? Yeah. So that, that's where that's where scouting comes in. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just like looking at this board. You have a tank, utility tank, utility tank, and an extremely weak carry. Mm -hmm. So the talent would be a lot better because you would actually kill things. Yeah. Like here you have a really hard time of killing anything. Like yes, you kill one unit. No, you don't even kill one unit. Yeah, you kill it. Because... I mean, he has a bunch of tanks as well, mm -hmm. but at least there's three protectors, so he has some sort of synergy. Mm -hmm. And a two-star Ilawi. Well, you have Singe to throw stuff, which he, yeah, sometimes he just bugs out. This is frustrating. Like, you should have killed something. He just, I don't know what happened. Oh, Ilawi was casting, so he just bugged out. Okay, well. So what do we want and why? I okay. Um, I think at this point because I know I haven't even put any items on uh, units. Yeah. I figured I was just gonna go for the trundle, and then maybe I'll put items on trundle. Or I think I was gonna go for um, because what did I have? I had a tear belt and a rod. Uh huh. I don't think I was even looking at the items of like what I was gonna make for the items. So I know that that was a mistake. Um, I think I only just picked the trundle just because it was scrap and then it was going to force me. Oh, no. Since I was going to have four scrap, if, uh, if I found a Ziggs, I was going to just be able to, like, actually make use of putting items on units. So there was, like, really no game plan besides, like, going into this round. But you have Malazar of a Jeweled Gauntlet. Oh, yeah. That is so freaking strong. So, like, the fact that... The fact that you haven't signed any items means you can you can really yeah. maximize on the carousel. This was usually my strategy back in set three, if you if you played set three, yeah. where you could also find something like some amazing combinations on the on the carousel. Mm -hmm. So like if you haven't signed any items, you're trying to grab a good three cost with a good component, which will allow you to slam an amazing item. So like Malhazar Jolt Gauntlet here would spike you extremely hard. Because that, that, that guy just always kills a few units. And I don't know if you recognize this at the point, but like right now your issue is you have very good front line, but not, not a good carry. So yeah. that's why the Malhazar with the glove is the best carry you can pick up here. Actually, I didn't even move. And you didn't even, oh god. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I still ended up getting the trundle. Because it didn't matter. Um, wait. Oh, okay. I know what happened here. That's why I picked this game too. Because I had a phone call mid, uh, at right before the carousel came. And it, I actually, like, just got a hard distract. Like, that sucks. Because there's a mouth right there too. Um, okay. And I think I was like, I was like, hey, I got to get off. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, search for a VOD. So my, um. My stepmom actually just hung up, but yeah, it was like a short like ninety seconds, and I didn't do anything with that. Uh, okay. With the, that carousel. So yeah. I mean, so this is this is like a, thing is focused or... a small thing, but like priority wise, if you're if you're hard climbing, just like put your phone vibrate or put yeah. it somewhere else. Like when I'm trying to hit challenger, I just don't pick up the phone. I don't get distracted by anything. So. But obviously, like, yeah, if it's something important, you pick it up. So yeah, I skipped that whole entire shot. Like that, that whole last round. Oh, it's, okay. That I mean, that's fine. You gotta, you gotta play with what you get. So there, there's the Malazar. Yeah. And I don't think I still put any items on, just because I wanted to keep the lost streak. But I'm not saving any HP here. I, I'm like and getting. And that's saved. the thing. You can look at the guys who are next weakest mm -hmm. and you can see okay this guy beats me anyway i might as well kill a few units yeah 
And yeah, you got a Swain pair. You finally have your Lulu, right? You, you're playing Enchanters. That's what you want to play. Yeah, I think I still pick up the Lulu. Good, good, good. I think I do. I, I want to say I did because it finally clicked, I guess. Maybe not. You got you got to do something to these creep prompts, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's I. I will make sure that I do that at least. Why well, I didn't even pick up my orders. <laughs> like you didn't pick anything up. You didn't buy anything. Maybe you're on the phone again. I don't know. But like. No, there was no phone calls after that. Hundred <laughs> percent. You but I just. But I. It, but no. No. Okay. Okay. We're never rolling on. Funny. We're never rolling on four. We're never rolling on five. Yeah. You never roll this early. Okay. So the earliest you can roll is 3 2 level 6. Because, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, before every roll, you need to know what you're rolling for and why. Yeah. So, would you be able to answer that question here? I mean, if I was gonna buy something, it would I guess it would just be the Zillion and the the uh, Ezreal at least, at least pair the Ezreal. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to roll here. Yeah, th there's not really a reason. Like, if you want Ezreal, okay, fine, fine. If like, if you want to reroll Singed or Ezreal, rolling here is fine. But otherwise, it's always leveling and just not rolling this early. Yeah, I, I don't know why I actually did that. I don't know why I put these items on either. I don't know why I put a Rage Blade on Ezreal. Um, Rage Blade I, is, is not, not the worst. It kind of locks you out a bit of your AP comp though. Because mm -hmm. you, you typically want to use the the rods for, for damage, not, not attack speed. And Sunfire Cape is more of a stage 2 item than a stage 3 item. Okay. Because Sunfire Cape has greater value based on how long the fight lasts. So if it's a longer fight, you get more value. If it's a slower fight, you get less value. Mm -hmm. So that could have been like a Bramble Vest or a, or a Titans. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, for... Like, I, that's the thing. I don't know if, if you're familiar with, 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 like, the the comps as in, like, how they've been optimized. So, for... Uh, specifically, no. So, for example... Wait, here we go. It's easier if we do, the, do this. If we can find the... Where the hell? Class. Oh, sorry. Sorry, class. So, if you want to play this mm -hmm. for example you know that these two guys are the tanks yep so you either want bramble or you want uh, i mean the sunfire is kind, kind of weak so like that's why i'm saying like bramble or like to because bow is extremely redundant in the in this comp like the only bow item that you can use is giant slayer right for for damage or alternatively the only other passable bow item is titans but armor you can use for bramble or you can use for stone plate or for another titans so by building the sunfire and also the war like the the you you can use the war mogs right so it's just like the itemization, the items you made, they don't make much sense for your comp right now. And they don't make much sense for your comp later. Yeah, so like you need to know why you're making the item and what it can do for you. And that's just the that's just a question you, you got to ask yourself. Like, I don't want to give you the answers. I just want you to ask the question. Will I be happy with this item on this stage? Will I be happy with this item in a couple of rounds? 
You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. No, I'm here. I'm yeah. just taking. I'm taking it all in. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not saying these choices are completely wrong. It just. But they're not optimizing. As long as you can justify them, like yes, I need this this uh, rage blade because I want to play a rage blade carry, and yes, I need the sunfire because I, I want to bleed less. Fine. But then it's like it's hard to use these items. Yeah. But then again, yeah, you had double double rod and tear. It's like you can make a death cap. You can yeah, you can make a archangels like. Oh crap! You had a uh, redemption and titans, for example. Oh yeah. Which is way better tank tank items. And we're finally using scrap. Nice. <laughs> I was actually considering just throwing the rod on Ezreal, but I was like, wait, no, it's gonna pick one or the other. Exactly. If your blip was the tankier one, I would rather just throw the. That's good. That's good. I see people putting components on all like on two scraps, and then it's a fifty-fifty rather than guaranteeing that it's on the right scrap. Yeah. So typically here you level up to six, yeah. And you can roll a little bit, or you just yeah you just chill since you have already a, a good unit to add. Yeah, I think I just went to six, and I was like, I guess I'll just slam the uh, put put the innovator in and then just just chill. Yeah, I mean your board is is pretty good. I'm not sure if it would be this dominant in higher elo, but it would still probably win a few rounds at higher elo, so that's fine. I took Junkyard here. It was either Junkyard, I, I wasn't going to Junkyard or uh, Salvage Bin just because maybe I'd get better item components. Um, I did think about the Woodland Charm, but I was like, well, what is it going to do? It's probably going to make my Blitz uh, duplicate and it's just going to pull the same unit. Um, and I was like thinking about it late game since I'm since I'm pretty much into what in, in an innovator scrap. Okay. I figured that since it's still kind of early, I can get a little bit more out of junkyard because it's giving me a free component every round. So I yep. actually just junkyard here. This is an item. This is more items and more components. So definitely agree with you. Junkyard is super strong. So here, yeah, we want we want to do something. We want to do something. Scout. Yeah. Because I mean, I, it's, I think now just having the blitz crank in there means I need to be scouting. No matter exactly. What and you should probably buy the Fiora because she's a four cost. Mm -hmm. I think I actually did before the other round. Did it? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. yeah good. I, 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 I was gonna say I thought I did do it and then actually swap her in for. Camille, but I was like, nah, I'm just gonna hold it for the uh, clockwork. But I don't know how, how much that really matters because Camille's just. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying put her in right now. I'm just saying buy her for later because she's a good unit. It doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you should really be getting the Lulu as well since you have Enchanter buff. Okay. That just like for the Enchanter, it's really good if you actually have more Enchanters because that's when they become extremely strong. Cause you don't need the two singed. You're you're probably never three star the singed. So, mm -hmm. okay. So what do we want now? I think I was just going for another. Oh, you're going for the jewel gauntlet, but but way too slow. Okay, so I think I mean this this carousel. It seems that you're here and aware. Yeah, this one I think it was, I think it was the jewel gauntlet, and then I don't want to. I want to say I was either going for another tank item. But For that Jewel is yours. So you need to know before the carousel. Like spend a little, little bit of time during the fight or before the round starts, before the carousel, to know exactly what you want on the carousel. Okay. Because I think like once the carousel came around, you, you started thinking about your items. Yeah. And like, but why? You can think about them earlier, right? It's not, mm -hmm. right? It's not that difficult to think, okay, so what are the items I want? 
And then when, once the carousel comes around, you're like, okay, boom, there's a glove. There's a glove. I'm going for the glove. Because it takes you a while to figure it out, and by that time, this guy already knows what he wants and he grabs it. Yeah. I so don't it, know what. Grab yeah, so if there's any... Has, like, yeah, maybe you were thinking about it, but, like, you should think these things through before. Yeah. That, that's, like, the, the whole bigger picture behind TFT. Like, think about what items you will be making before you make them. Think about what composition you want to play before you start rolling. I'm taking too long to do something here. Okay, so here... I just wasted 30 seconds. You wasted 30 well, I seconds? I wasted like a good 20 minutes of this entire game. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's like the, the, the key trend. So it's like at least doing something. Like you might not be doing the, the most optimal play, but by doing nothing, like you're not improving at all. So... And that's like, that's the thing, like... Thinking, like, at least think to yourself, okay, Path told me to do something. What should I be doing? Okay, at least I can scout. At least I can, like, do something. Yeah. Okay. And I, that should be enough to, to get you to to Diamond for sure by, by at least doing something. And then if you want to climb beyond that, you need to start doing the righter thing or the better thing. Mm -hmm. But by, by doing nothing, yeah, not much can, can go your way if you do nothing. I'm also, I also admit, I am not too familiar with the innovator thing, so I think the other thing on the carousel, at least that last one was, I don't know exactly what unit or what, um, what items I'm aiming for. Um, I have no idea why I rushed to, uh, 7-air. I... Yeah, okay, this is I, completely wrong interval for everything. Like yep. no, it's one, one round before before the PVE. It's also off interval, which means it's not like perfect zero. It's yeah. two, so you pay more XP. Uh, you just lost twice, so l winning here doesn't do anything for you. So that that's all these things combined. Yeah. Um. What else? Oh yeah, you put in another enchanter. Okay. Uh, huh, 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 huh. You slam an item, which is also really bad right before you get more items. Yeah. So it's like you need to think about these things like, yeah. Um, and the thing about innovators, the great thing about this comp is you can play almost any carry. You just put in four innovator and then you just play, oh, sorry, you put in the five innovators uh, if you don't have the augment and you just play any other two units. So that can be like Jin plus MF. That can be Kaisa and Yone. That can be Jinx and Urgot. That can be like whatever good carry you find, you just put them in and you just have the innovators in there. Because mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole point is like, to simplify things, you want some tank units and you want some damage dealers. Yep. So the whole, the whole innovator comp gives you tankiness so then what you got to build are are the yeah, carries. Yeah. And that, that can be anything. Like there's no particular carry that you need for this comp. It's just whichever one you, you can two-star. Okay, I hope... I know I looked at this too and I remember watching this and like my surfing's doing absolutely nothing where I put her. Yep, that's just to do with ranges because all these units have four range, so they're not gonna move, so Seraphine's stuck. Wait, how did we get. Oh! Oh, junkyard! junkyard. Yeah, yeah, finally, cool, cool. <laughs> so here, it seems that you're building Seraphine, so you should sell the Ezreal and just transfer the Rage Blade to her. I. Right? I was gonna do that, and I think I put Morello here. It was either Morello or Jordalit. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. I, so I, not... I, I, I didn't know who else I would put the Rage, rage Blade on. Okay. And I figured, I think my, my line of reasoning was I'll just wait for Jace, and I'll just take the 
items off of Ezreal and then slam them on Jace if I ever Yeah, Jace. fair enough, fair enough. I mean, this is looking pretty good. Okay, so why is Morello a garbage item? Well, it's, to me, it's redundant with the uh, Sunfire Cape. Oh, exactly. Okay, I'm glad you noticed that now. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was surprised. I, I saw the Jude Gauntlet on the on the bench. Like maybe I guess could I could have put that, but I was like, wait, why did they put the Morello? And I was like, oh uh, yeah. Okay, we have Enchanters, sure. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. But yeah, you'd never want to get your carry blitzed. Yeah. So first of all, I think Seraphne is better than Ezreal, so she should be in the spotlight, right? Mm -hmm. So Seraphne definitely benefits more from the additional mana than Ezreal. And you can put Orianna in the corner, for example. Or even even, Ezreal, uh, even Zillion, because he's like the most useless unit. You make sure he's in this corner, Orianna's in that corner. So, mm -hmm. like, you should never get your carry blitzed. So I okay. So there's two options. Either you scout every single round and position around Blitz, like knowing if if you, you can play Blitz or not, or alternatively you just have corner bait units. So I think it's easier to have corner bait units than to sweat scout every single round for Blitzes. Mm -hmm. And I do that as well. I I usually just put my units uh, mm -hmm. in a way so that Blitz doesn't ruin my game. Mm -hmm. So that's like. Something you should learn from last combat. Okay, Blitz kind of screwed me. I gotta move the Seraphne. I don't know why I did a, decided to just hard roll down here. I think it was because I saw that I was winning. I was like, well, if I, I probably spike a little harder if I get uh, Jaina and uh, Jenna and Ori, and then maybe it can hold me off to at least stage five. Okay. And then I'll go eight. That's the only reason why I did that late roll down in four three. Also, because it never clicked on four one. That that's fine. I mean, yeah, we're getting stronger. I think this round, it, I have no idea what I was gonna go for. Cause I think I was getting another junk. Gargold. Yeah, that's good. You're also getting another junk out now. Yep. Yeah. So I was going to put... I wish it would tell you when you're going to get it. Like a countdown like they used to do with like the orange stuff. But, but come on, man. You I can you I can count to three. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you got, it on the, you got it on the creep round, which means one, two, three, you're getting it now. Yeah. I just... It just... It just... Uh, using more... What the frick? What? In, what? <laughs> Didn't you get it on the creep round? Uh, it might be on the next round. That I think they get the jump. Oh round. no! You took out scrap though. No scrap is still in. I have a. You took oh, out scrap one, here. Who was? I think there was one round. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think that's also why I rolled because I wanted to get Jenna too. Yeah. So at least yeah. Jenna, it's like slam Jenna in. Because so, yeah. was in for clockwork. It's just committing a little bit, a little bit of your brain power to counting how many scrap rounds there have been. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I just slammed this on Terry. Yeah. Fine. Why not? But what does that mean if you if you put if you slam it on Terry? Uh, well, what do you mean? Do you well, mean? I just want Terry to last longer. So. But how does that item work? The more people that are targeting him, so I probably should have moved Singed. Yeah. The more people that are you should... him, the more resistance he gets. Exactly. So you should put Singed in the back and like put Tarek here so he's tanking a lot of a lot of units and also use the bear to kind of tank a lot. Cause the bear is your best tank and you want the bear to cast. Because once the bear casts, your whole team gets buffed. Yep. So if, if the bear is the first thing to die, it's usually the best because he'll he'll use his ulti, which like gives like a uh, a big power surge to your your comp, and then you can just die. And your comp will usually overpower the other comp if you have like another tank. So you have like the bear, that's there to cast and die. 
Then you have another tank, and while while the bear cast it, your whole comp is like uh, powered up for five seconds, and you should win win like the tug of war between their front line and your front line, and just break through their front line and destroy everything. Please tell me you don't get some fireboard here. No, no, no. I took makeshift here because I remember, I remember seeing something about the uh, the bear being a good tank. Not not the bear being a good tank, but the bear being useful. So I remember seeing that on Reddit. So I took makeshift because you're never gonna put items on that. Yep. And I'm only gonna put it on two uh, two items on here. Yep. And you're just like, okay, so I only have three units holding items. It's good to get it. Yeah, agree. And that yeah, the the AP eighty is it's. Not as strong as makeshift, I think, especially for the bear. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about that. I figured taking this more because, I mean, I have enough healing and sustain. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it benefits. The way it works is your healing and sustain becomes even stronger because you have more more HP. Like, more effective HP, if, you, if you're aware of that. That's the same thing in, in League of Legends. Like, if you have more armor, more magic resistance, then your HP gives you more, right? Yeah. And please don't corner like that so that the unit doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think I moved Jenna too as well. I think I put either Zillion back here and then put Jenna forward. Okay, and just look at the damage tab. I mean, Seraphne is still doing more than, than Ezreal. So... Mm -hmm. I would strongly suggest putting Seraphne in the socialite spot. Oh, yeah. But she's a four cost carry as well as a one cost carry, so. Mm -hmm. And she's extremely mana, mana hungry. Nice, we're interacting with the things popping out. <laughs> I here you're on a crazy win streak. You have decent economy. You can just wait one round, level up next round. That's the okay. best play. I, I think I was looking for. I was considering it. That I was also considering just trying to stay seven. Maybe I can find the Terra three. Maybe another round or two. That was only one off. But it's like, um, I don't think the Tarek is. He's not a carry, he's not the amazing tank, he's just a healer. Mm -hmm. Like what what yeah, what spikes you here? Uh wait, what was I thinking? There's few things that, that spike you more than the Terry. Only, uh, the only reason why I would go eight here is I would stick in for clockwork and another enchanter. Go yeah, clockwork and enchanter, exactly. And you can find the chase. So that's definitely the right the right play. I think that's what I did. Yeah. 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 There you go. And you you can start rolling exactly, and you still hit the Terry because you have actually higher odds on on eight and seven, and you trap another unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have yeah I could have put Zillion there like for some. But why? Else. But why trap them? Just move the Seraphine over one. So the unit can actually walk out. Yeah, that never, that never like blinked into my head. I think I just slammed this Rabidons on Jace. I mean, uh, on a uh, Tarek. Of course, it's, the healing is completely broken. <laughs> He's three star, so definitely yeah. give him more items. I was actually trying to add. I was trying to do the math, and eventually I was like, yeah, no, there's no way, like, Jenna heals more than Tarek long-term. Well, the thing is, makeshift armor, so you don't really want oh, yeah. put, to put anything on her. But yeah, nice comp. If it's the first time you're playing this, it's really cool how you just figure it out on the fly. 
think on here I, I don't remember what I even cared. I probably could have should have just taken the seraphine. I think I just took a random item here. Socialite's fine. Oh no, I took the socialite. Okay. Is I I maybe I put seraphine there and finally? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I think it was looking for Jace. Oh, nice. I think oh, I no. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it in on time, but I know for a fact Ezreal was gone next round. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. And yeah, I should have put it on the useless Zillian instead of her, or put it on, I guess, the Ori. Yep. Because... Because of makeshift. Uh, exactly. Okay, good. Also, Janna should be in the front because she pushes stuff away. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're not actually... Look at that. Like, what did her ulti do? Her ulti did absolutely nothing here. Uh -huh. It just healed you, but it didn't stun anything. But if she was at least in the second row, she would just push everything back. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. Because not that many people do this, but, but two-star Janna is essentially a tank. Uh, okay. No, I think I, t I, I, I know I took the items off of Ezreal. Oh, remover, let's go. Wait, you want ranged Jace? Really? Yeah, I, <laughs> I figured I had enough front line with, uh, what's it? Yeah, Jace just got popped. I think well, that's, I that's Assassin's. I that I lost, but... I, yeah, I figured Tarek was enough frontline and the bear was enough. I was like, you know, how... I have a Seraphine here with items. Maybe I'll just use Range Jace. <laughs> no, no idea. Because I've never played this, so I didn't really think that that was a... I think I played it once or twice before, Okay, okay. I uh, just never, just never roll on the creep round before it starts if you have this, this little gold. Because you could have gotten to 10 gold easily after the creep round. Oh, yeah. And just block everything in. <laughs> I, I hope you you see this and you don't leave it in like that for the oh, PvP yeah, I'll round. Never do this again. Okay, good. But okay, so you do leave it like that this game. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I did that also just because there was an assassin player, so I figured they won't go behind the thing again. Actually, no, because they're going to just jump right in the front. They're just going to jump right on Jace and kill him. Yeah, yeah. So the most protected unit right now is Zillion. Or, sorry, Ezreal. Zillion, Zillion can get blitzed, but Ezreal is like the most protected unit. I'm surprised this Jace is smacking so hard, but yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, Seraphne is good. Jace is good. You have three-star Tarek. Like, this comp has come together well. Okay, okay. Finally, I scouted. Uh, no, but what is your what is your next spike? Uh, I mean, it's... I guess it's only Heimer, right? There's not... I mean, I'm never hitting nine here with the amount of HP we have. Yeah. So that's that. that yeah. So you look at this guy. You're like, okay, we won't li we won't live till stage seven. So I'm never going, never going nine. So yes, you're ro rolling for for Heimer now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure you know what you're doing because like I don't I don't think you can ever find Serafni three star. Mm -hmm. Oh damn. So it's like as long as you know, like as long as you can answer the question for yourself like what am i rolling for and why you're on the right track okay and then obviously like you need to figure out okay i was rolling for this unit it did nothing okay maybe i was doing the wrong thing but yeah you're you're, you're good you're selling the, the the units that you don't need Trying to find the Heimer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, 
Ah. I have no idea how to position against that, so I just left everything where it was. Yeah. Would I have? <laughs> would it would have been better for to move Tarek in front of Jace, and then the bear next to Tarek? Sure. You want to block? You want to block him in, right? Mm -hmm. So that way they don't at least touch him. Yeah. Yeah, they can't touch him. I think that guy died up. Yeah, the assassin player died, I guess, to admire his ghost. Okay. You know what you can do? You can put your stuff over here. Oh, yeah. You lose the socialite hex, whatever. It's painful, but you don't get hit, hit by the assassins. Because mm -hmm. this guy's like, okay, my opponents are, are, all, are both in the same spot. They're not moving. Well, then I got to make sure that I utilize... Like, my assassins as much oh, as I can. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you, if you, if you put, if you put units in front, in front of your, of your carries, then they're more protected, definitely. Mm -hmm. I want to say I took the Jace here. Yeah, definitely. Wait, would I have, would it just been better to take the Zac, though? Because I think I was wondering to take the Zac for the Enforcer. It's close. Um, I think their their most HP unit is the bear as well, right? No, 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 no. They're not playing. They're not playing. No, they're playing innovative too. Yeah. So yeah. You gotta look at. You gotta know what their most HP unit is, and whether it's worth it to freeze it or not. Okay. And you, but taking the Jace here to get a Jace pair is is never bad. The oh, unfortunate yeah, thing is he has a Jace as well. He has two star Jace, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's actually why I didn't take the Enforcer was because of the Jace. And I think I tried to sell it to look for the Jace here. Yeah, I Jace actually, Jace is a way I bigger spark. Yeah. yeah. You you do that's the that's the what? Oh okay. Okay, you know that it's last fight. Brilliant, yeah, since it's last fight, yeah. you might as well do that. And that's actually a lot worse. Yeah, then actually not using it at all. <laughs> no, the the cloak is a lot worse because you yeah, lose. It's worse because yeah, you 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 make her weaker for not getting makeshift. Yeah, so she loses, she loses a lot of uh, AD resistance and a bit of AP uh, AP resistance as well. So yeah. Yeah. But I love the fact that you're like it's a, it's the last fight. I didn't hit anything. I might as well use the item. So that that is that is correct. This was actually slapped them for yeah. One here. But I mean, it's it's essentially if you look at the the damage thing, it's uh, Seraphni carry. Yeah. <laughs> so I should have. So I think I okay. So I know for a fact what I did a lot there. There was a lot of mistakes, and I got gifted basically a win. I never picked up my items. Uh, I didn't utilize the socialite spot efficiently. Yeah. I blocked in multiple units multiple times for multiple rounds. Yeah. I didn't use scrap early, which technically scrap is pretty good early if you're uh -huh. you know, have item components. Uh I was inactive for probably about twenty minutes of the entire game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't scout at all. I wasted the first three carousels not knowing what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, like there was so many mistakes and I know for a fact at the end of the game, I was like, okay, I know I got first, but I have to show this because I know for a fact there's so many things I did wrong. Yeah. You did, like you did a bunch of things, right? The Like important things you did, right? Like rolling at the right times relatively, leveling at the right times relatively, uh, itemizing, like obviously instead of Morello, the... Rage blade on Seraphne would be would be way way better, or just like not making the moral, moral at all since you had Sunfire. A uh, minor thing was the the early units at, at the start of the game, just like holding the stronger units so you can play them. Yeah, taking socialite instead of celestial bless blessing. For some uh, taking enchant. Well, actually, it worked out for me. Enchanter but... helped you win the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's like, as long as you take Enchanter and you have this comp in mind, that's completely fine. Okay. 
The issue is, if you don't get the units for it, it's your good. augment is completely wasted. Yeah. So that's like, like I mentioned at the start, you can waste an augment if you have to. Like you can just ignore an augment if you have to ignore the augment. Mm -hmm. But uh, if if it's like a all-purpose augment like celestial blessing, you can like that's never going to be used as augment. Oh yeah. Because you're always doing damage, so you always want to want to heal from it. The enchanters were was actually a really good tech for you, but I'm not a hundred percent sure whether you were even sure what comp you're going when you took the enchanters. No, I was not. Yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. As far as what comp I was gonna make with enchanters, no. But I know I was gonna maybe try to use turret because I, I I do like turret in this set. Okay. But no idea what comp. I was running at the start, or even after that first argument. Hey. But I mean, as long as you're, or I didn't use notepad. As long as, as long as you're, you're planning to do something with with enchanters, mm -hmm. then it's then it's fine, because like Tarek is good, Ariana's good, and Jana's good. So then having a bonus enchanter, why not? So you have more more uh, magic resist, and you have more healing and shielding. So that that's completely fine. Like as long okay, so as long as I but I don't think you t you gave me that answer on on one four. That Tarek is your your core unit. Oh no, I I never I, I didn't even know that that was gonna be my core unit. But okay, but like, if your aim is to have Tarek as your core unit, then you take that buff and you and you play accordingly. Oh yeah, oh I I meant like just to go be, like going into the game, I did not expect to. Play Tarek, and even when I saw a chapter, I didn't think to play Tarek. I figured okay. I would maybe eventually at the end game have some enchanter at some point, but I didn't. I didn't actually plan on it at all. Okay, so like enchanters were kind of useful stage four, stage five, stage six. Yep. Or maybe like a bit on stage three once you hit the Tarek, but the celestial blessing would have been useful for all of stage two yeah. as well. So overall, Enchanters wasn't the wrong choice. It just, I want you to be able to justify your choices. So that that's like the, the key thing. Like, Makes sense. So like you have to be able to say to yourself after the game or at the start of the game, I'm doing this because I, I want this outcome. Mm -hmm. Right? So like that, that's like the, the way I try to coach. I don't try to give you the right answer. I try to get you to start thinking critically. So that when you play a completely different comp next game, you're like, okay, so should I grab this uh, Syndicate Heart or should I grab this Imperial Heart or should I grab uh, Thrill of the Hunt? Like, hmm, do I want to play Syndicates? Do I want to play Imperials? Or do I just want to play whatever the hell the game gives me and get HP on kill? Oh, yeah. Right? You're familiar with these augments, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's usually why Thrill of the Hunt, Celestial Blessing, uh, the Dummies, or, or any of the Gold Augments are are better because they're just flexible. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I would say, I think after this game, there was, like, two or three other games where that first Augment, it was it was wasted just like this. Like, I think I got the Syndicate all for 1-1 one, one on one of the games, and... I didn't see a single syndicate unit for like the first. I, I don't think I saw one until like stage three care after stage three care so. But then it's like, uh, do you really want to force syndicate like pivot into syndicate no, at that I, point? Yeah, see, I, I keep doing that to myself, and that's it's bad. It just it just screws you over. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Right, like why? Why screw? You? What is? Why can't I find the augments? Oh, it should be under a database. Under a okay. I think it's under database. You might have to wait for the little thing to pop up on the side. There, there go. we go. So you, yeah, okay, so just, yeah, you know them, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with all, with all of them. I, I, I'm almost familiar with, like, the icons now, but... So Academy, because Academy is super, super strong. Yeah. Arcanist is okay. Ascension, garbage. Garbage, this is kind of strong if you can make it work. And then garbage, bruisers are good, so you take that. Build different is good. And then like the lost, blessing. Uh, and then it's like 
clear mind so you can level up quickly. Uh, dominance is usually a bait, bait, bait. And they're like, all of these are usually baits unless it's like exiles, flexible, uh, high end chopping, really good, hyper roll, really good. And then like these are like item grab bag, really good. Like the ones that, that are not specific to a comp. Because anything like yeah, Pandora's or stuff like that that gets you items or components is just much better than pirates, which means you have to play you have to play mercenaries. If you don't find mercenaries, it's a it's a dead augment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just just like and there's a bunch of the augments that are actually flexible, right? Like underdogs, thrill of the hunt as well, weak spot. So unless like something is really overpowered or overtuned or like you're you're good at forcing that comp, uh, just get the the like neutral or flexible augments. Okay. And the the best one is obviously mercenary because that just that's just so fucking strong. Because oh, yeah. mercenaries are just really really strong if you if you just lose streak with them and then you cash out, that's a easy first. Yeah, I actually had a game right before we even had this. Uh, but I had the instead of that mercenary one, I had the other one where they get more damage the more gold you have. Pirates. No, oh yeah, that gold. that's uh, yeah, that's the gold one. I had yeah. That one the entire time. Uh, I ended up getting the prismatic mercenary, so I was at seven. Oh, oh nice! So you're and just cashing out like crazy. Sweet. I was, but I had like a. I had two random units in there. Like, I had an Alawi one that was doing nothing. Um, I had another unit that was doing absolutely nothing. I had the Jinx and all that, but I lost because I was literally just sitting on 60 gold. Yeah. Just because I was trying to get baited into that gold. Yep, trip. and you were greedy with the mercenaries as well. Like, you could have just started cutting them. Yep, 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 yep. I, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I do my best to <laughs> cash out. You cash out with mercenaries, and then you just get rid of them. That's, like, usually the right play. Oh, yeah. Rather than getting sacked, like, oh, but what if I get more? I can get even more, even more. It's like, oh, I'm dead. Well, it was nice. <laughs> Rather than, like, okay, I got my cash out. It's like, yeah, gambling at the casino. If you win at the casino, you get the fuck out of there. You don't stay gambling, like, to lose all the gold, like, all the money you won, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to remember that. I know that saying, but I'm going to have to remember that when I play them, because... That happened a lot when I was like playing Space Pirates and like all those other ones. Boy, well, Space know. Pirates was were kind of different because you were dropping components oh, yeah. and Gangplank was actually a good unit. But yeah, you, you can like here you don't want to be playing like Ilawi. You don't want to be playing Quinn. You either play MF Carry or Gangplank Carry. So like the only thing you, you do want to play is, is Tom Kench plus MF, for example. Yeah, this is, this is what it was. I ended up having... Kaisa, Jinx, and Tom Kench too. But, and then a bunch of like random unit uh, yeah. components with it, and I still got six. Oh man, so that's like where you where you add in a Urgot, you add in a like a Challenger or a or a Twin Shot, you add in a bunch of Brawlers. You don't sit on sixty gold, and you get it easy first. So that's just like greed taking over. I I know the feeling. Don't worry, I know the feeling as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I died with seventy-one gold. Yeah, nice, nice. That always, that always stings. That always stings when you win so when you lose so much gold. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. So, is there a anything else I can I can answer for you? No, nah, I mean, you, I mean, you, you, you addressed it. I mean, and I, I mean, I saw the weaknesses. Just, just going over the vod, my like, as a side person, just looking at it too. I was like. I was I was looking at it and thinking to myself, "Wow, did I really just do that? Did I really not do that? W what am I doing?" Like, in a way, it was a little embarrassing, but it's good that I did this. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I could get another like person to be like, "You know what you're doing wrong. Like, you don't even need me to be here. You know, like just what are you doing, dude? Like, that's the whole time I was thinking the entire. <laughs> yeah, time. that that's. I mean, that's another thing. Just review your own vods, right? Review your own vods yeah. and. And realize like, oh man, I'm AFK again? I spent another three turns not doing a goddamn thing. Like, uh, maybe I should be doing something. Because that's like the first step. Like, honestly, getting from, from, from gold to plat 
do something, then Diamond is like, do a bit more of the right things, and Master is like, I'm doing at least like two thirds of the right thing. And then like, yeah, GM is like, you're doing 75% and Challenger is like, you're doing 90% of the right thing. And then like, the higher up you go, it's like 95%, 98% or whatever. Like nobody, nobody does 100% of the right thing. Okay. But yeah, if you want to yeah, get appreciate- like higher up, then like once, you, once you're doing the right thing two thirds of the time, you're a master. Mm-hmm. So it's just like reducing, reducing the, like the lag time of, of, of like your decisions because like you, you need to dis- like you can decide things way earlier than you actually do right you decide things like what do I want from carousel what what units am I rolling for and especially I guess like what what composition am I building that's like the key thing like actually opening up the builder either mobilitics or launches doesn't really matter but like okay so what build do I want so what is the ideal enchanter build? Okay, so maybe it's something like this, mm-hmm. right? Like the enchanter build, and I guess you want to play innovators with it, so you put in the innovators as well. And then it's like, okay, so maybe this is a is a good build. And you had something else in and something out. Uh, but, I yeah. Oh, that's eight units, actually. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So is this a good build? Maybe it's a good build. So like, you're if you're happy with this build, maybe you can you can play this this comp more, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if you're if you actually planned this out before or it's just it sort of happened on the fly. Like this is actually pretty sick. Like it's really strong. But I it's... the person I pl- I play some games with. She pl- she plays like a lot of the Seraphine Janna stuff. So I've seen her play the units, um, and then it's just basically knowing okay, well there's innovators, so I'll just put all the innovators. Yeah, in. yeah, that's good. That's good. So it's like good knowing kind of knowing the compositions beforehand and not trying to figure them out during the game. Yeah, it's like uh, any other any other sport or esport or something. Like my fair comparison is like you're you're playing basketball. And you catch the ball. It's like, how do I dribble? I know I'm allowed to dribble, but what is dribbling? I need to look it up quickly. Like, no, you just got to run with the ball. So that's kind of like the game throws you a Yumi and you're like, wait, what does this unit do? How do I play Yumi? Like, no, you need to figure this out before the game. I I think you have a decent, like like you have an understanding of what the units do and what the augments do and stuff like that. So like having your your comp. I played a lot on PvE. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just know I get distracted or I'm not doing anything. I think the biggest thing, I guess, is a uh, tentative being actually focused on the actual game. So yeah, big, big focus thing. If if you want to improve, it's like you really gotta focus on the game. Cause like for me, it's maybe a bit too extreme, but I even start sweating sometimes when I'm playing when I play a bunch of games. Cause at like challenge your level, it's like oh my god, this this little decision. Okay, I have to scout this. I have to move this. I have to move that. I have to do this and that and like all the little things. And it's just like thirty seconds is not enough time to do all of the things I want to do in my turn. Yeah. So it, it gets a bit hectic. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. Cool. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I I, I hope you enjoyed that, Ravox. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was informative. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. And uh, hopefully see you again sometime. Take care. Thank you. Have a good one.